All right, so I'm here with my 2015 Chevrolet Camaro. Um, I'm just gonna do a little bit of a review on it. Here's a little side, or a little walkthrough view. So I've had this car for a little bit now. Um, it comes with the regular keypad thing. Uh, it's got your unlock, your lock, your trunk button, your remote start, panic alarm. This set came with a separate key in entirety because uh, I assume this must have fallen off somehow. But um, let's go to the trunk now. So the trunk is uh, fairly big. Uh, right now it has my two tennis rackets in here and my car cover. Um, I bought a cover for my car because you don't know what that harmful Wisconsin weather we have. But it's pretty big. Um, as you can see here that fits back there. It's pretty roomy. Um, it's got this button in here. I don't even know. But uh, yeah, that's the trunk. And now I'm going to take you into the uh, interior. So the interior of this car is interesting. Um, here's the, the uh, driver door. You got the mirror functions up here. Uh, change the direction. You've got the lock and unlock, the uh, power controlled windows, and the door handle's like right down here, right by the speaker here. So it's kind of interesting when you get out of the car. But there's also the trunk button down here. So where your door handle is, your trunk button's also right here. Um, with this version in particular, this car, um, it is the Rally Sport model. So we got the Rally Sport floor mats on the driver's side and the passenger side. Um, on here as well, you have your light controls. Switch between the lights, and you've got the lights on your speedometer. On the steering wheel here, you have all of these buttons that I don't use. The, the Chevrolet emblem, the horn, airbag. This is for like uh, selecting on the menu on the display here. Changing the volume. This is for the hands-free calling. Um, on, the, on this uh, turn signal thing here, you have the obviously the up and down for the turn signals. And then this is used for like the menu on that screen up there. Uh, so I'll show you actually real quick. So you have the, the menu here. You can actually go on here and you can change like what you want it to say. Um, I don't actually think there's navigation in this car because I haven't seen anything, any signs of it yet. Uh, they have the vehicle speed. And I'm just doing this by uh, moving this thing here. Fuel economy, fuel range, uh, trip odometer, and back to the regular speed thing. Um, but yeah, the blinkers all work. Down, up, um... I'm pretty good on gas. This car actually only has 14,000 miles. We got it in Florida. Or no, we got it from a dealership that got it from Florida. But that's that part now. Um, this is the automatic version of the Camaro. Uh, there are manual ones, but uh, this is an automatic. Although it does have the option to shift it into manual. And on the side here, it, um, it has paddle shifters that you can use to shift in between the gears if you need to. Now with this radio, 
Uh, I don't know the exact size, but it is just a straight up touch LED display. Now if you go to the home here, you can get uh, whatever you have, the phone, AM, FM, XM, and if you have the subscriptions, you can have Pandora. I have never used Stitcher before. Uh, the USB is for like if you want to like look at photos and stuff. And then there's the aux capability. But everything else, basically, a lot of this is with Sirius XM. Like the weather, the um, movies, whatever all that stuff is. The info, configuration, and then, yeah, there's pictures. Now here you have your basic, um, like, your, air, your AC controls. This controls, like, the fan speed. We'll turn that off for now. And then this right here, if you want the AC on, you just tap that in. The front defroster, the rear defroster, and then this cycles the air on the whole car. Just the temperature meter that goes from the cold to hot. Um, the flashers that you're, uh, yeah. And then the e-brake is right here. Just push it in and pull up. And then, uh, yeah, your shifter, push in, shift back if you need to. Um, the radio does turn off. It just kind of shows this thing, shows you what the day is, my link or whatever. And then, uh. Over here on the passenger side, we do have the Rally Sport floor mats. I apologize if they're a little bit dirty, but uh, we just got these actually too. Um, everything is in the same spot on the uh, driver or the passenger side. The seats, the door handle. There's no trunk thing on there, but there is the unlock lock and the one power window, the one vent, the vent up there, another speaker. There's two vents right here. And then also on the rear view mirror, you have um, the OnStar capabilities. You have the, uh, I don't actually know what the one on the left does, um, but that's that, the OnStar and then SOS, which I'm assuming is like the roadside assistance thing. Um, up here now, you have, uh, there is a sunroof on this car actually. You just put that open, but there's, it rains, so I don't want to open it, but, um, if you wanted to open it, you'd press this button to go up, and then this one to go down. And then you got the lights here. Uh, yeah, they, they're just kind of lights. I didn't really mess with them. And then these uh, these really, really big visors. They're actually a little bit too big. Just kidding, they're really small, actually. Um, the mirror, really small. Um, that's honestly about it for the car. Uh, unless you guys want to hear it like want to hear it start up i can give that a go now i'll take you to the outside the car goes pretty fast uh obviously it's it's a camaro um I'm gonna turn it off now. So yeah, um, I don't know. I unfortunately I'm getting rid of this car already though. Uh, not able to afford the payments. Um, if you're in school, like college and high school, don't get an expensive car unless someone's helping you pay for it because it's not easy to make the payment for. Uh, but. Truthfully, it's a really nice car. I'm gonna be really sad to see it go, but that's the reality of it all. Um, can't all have nice cars right away, but uh, let's be honest. This thing's beautiful. It's in really good shape too, for being um, a 2015, but that's because it was in Florida first and it only has 14,000 miles on it. And, like, these rims are huge, by the way. But, yeah, that's about it. That's the review for the 2015 Camaro. Um, thank you guys for tuning in. And, yeah.